Identifying gulls really is different from identifying any other type of bird. Rather than explaining how to identify a particular gull species, this video will introduce the general procedure for identifying gulls. I'll explain why beginning birders should start with adult gulls and why you should begin in the winter. Then I'll discuss how gulls change their appearance gradually but predictably over a period of years from juvenile to adult. These basics will give bird watchers the foundation for identifying any gull. If this is what you are looking for, welcome. My name is Greg and I've been watching birds since 1972. I've puzzled over a lot of gulls in my time and I almost have it figured out. Let me share with you what I've learned. The identification of gulls relies strongly on the mantle color, eye color, leg color, and wingtip pattern. Almost all gulls, however, start life barred brown with dark eyes, pink legs, and all brown wings. Then they gradually change over a period from two to four years. If you think these intermediate immature colors are the adult colors, then you'll be confused. As just one example of how age matters, many gulls show a yellow bill with a dark tip or ring in their third year, just like adult ring-billed gulls. Knowing the difference between a third year gull and an adult gull will save you from making this common but understandable beginner error. Therefore, the identification of gulls starts with determining their age. If you're just getting started identifying gulls, I recommend that you start with adult gulls. Then you'll have a better chance of matching eye color, bill, and leg color. The clinching feature of most adult gulls is an all-white tail. Many adult gulls also show jet black wingtips with large interior white spots called mirrors. Only one common adult gull in North America has a black tail as an adult. It's the Hearman gull on the Pacific coast. It's a unique bird with a gray body and a white head and a blood red bill to go along with its black tail. All immature gulls have either an all dark tail or a tail band, either wide or thin. If a gull has an all white tail, it's an adult and you can safely use eye, bill, and leg color to identify it. My second recommendation is to start your gull identification journey in winter. Early in winter, adult gulls will have new and fresh feathers. They will match the field guides quite closely. Winter plumage adult gulls look very much like the breeding plumage, but they usually have heavy streaking on the head and hind neck. Many gulls nest in Canada and the north, away from where most people live. Many bird watchers only have one or two species of gulls near them in summer, if any. So November through March is the best time to see good numbers of many gull species if you live farther south. In the fall of the year, gulls are molting. They'll have missing feather gaps. They'll have new fresh feathers side by side with old worn feathers. It's so confusing. Wait for the molt to complete by the end of October and it'll be a lot easier to identify gulls. The truth is some birders ignore gulls. That's okay. Many other birders go out in January, identify the dozen expected or so uh, species for the new year list and then don't watch gulls again until the next winter. However, there is a good reason to start learning how to identify immature gulls. Adult gull pairs raise three to five young. Thus, in early winter, there's likely to be more immature gulls than adults. Do you really want to ignore half of the gulls you see? Adult and immature gulls don't necessarily hang out together. Sometimes immature gulls migrate farther south than adults. Sometimes it's the opposite. You may find that flocks of immature gulls are 
actually of different species than the adult gulls in your area. That's another reason to learn to identify immature gulls. Some birders seek out gulls for the challenge. They photograph strange individuals and then debate them endlessly online. That's probably not you. But since you clicked on this video and have watched to this point, I assume you want to learn how to identify these most difficult birds. Or you at least want to give it a try. Good for you. Gulls start out in barred, juvenile plumage and predictably change their feathers twice a year. If you know what the juvenile gull looks like, and you know what the adult gull looks like, then you'll be able to identify all the birds in between. This is true whether the species takes two, three, or four years to attain adult plumage. I want you to memorize this sequence. Back, scapulars, wing coverts, wing tips. Again, back, scapulars, wing coverts, wing tips. This is the order in which barred juvenile plumage is replaced by adult looking plumage. One, as a barred young gull ages, it will first show an adult-like gray back. The rest of the plumage will be barred brown. Two, then it will show adult-like gray back and scapulars. The underparts get whiter, but the wing coverts remain barred brown, and the wing tips are solid, dull brown. The rump and base of the tail is often white, contrasting with a wide, dark tail band. Three, next, the wing coverts mold into adult-like gray color, joining the back and scapulars. The wing tips remain all dark. The tail band is often just a few black tail end spots. Eyes and legs approach adult color. The bill is usually pale yellow with a black tip. Four. Finally, the wing tips attain the adult like color and pattern. For many gulls, the jet black primaries are tipped with white and show big white interior spots called mirrors. On the large gulls, such as herring and western gulls, each step just considered takes a year. The changes to the wing and tail happen with the fall molt. Head and body plumage, attaining the white adult feathers, changes in both spring and fall molt. It takes four years for these gulls to reach adult plumage. Mew, now called short-billed and ring-billed gulls, take three years to attain adult plumage. They combine the first two steps into one during the first year. Smaller gulls, including those with black heads as an adult, take only two years to become adults. They have one intermediate plumage between juvenile and adult. The eye, bill, and leg color change gradually over time. By the time the gull has the adult back, scapulars, and wing coverts, the eye and leg color match the adult color. The adult bill color often waits until the full adult plumage, or even later. Do you remember back, scapulars, wing coverts, and wing tips? That's the takeaway from this video. In future videos, I'll compare two similar gulls using this aging sequence. Thank you for watching.